Hey there, this is Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this Lightroom tutorial I am going to guide you through the importing process in Lightroom. So if you're new to Lightroom or even if you've been using it for a little while, um, I'm just going to show you how to import your photos and what settings you can be um, selecting when you're importing your photos. So let's get started. Um, come over here and choose the import button when you're ready to import your photos if you have your camera or your flash drive connected to your computer. So I already have mine all connected. You can see um, I've got it connected from my camera. It's actually on a card reader right now. So you can see exactly what the source is, what device it's coming from. You can also choose if you'd like to import photos from your local disk or from anywhere else on your computer. You can come up here and you can choose anywhere on your computer that you'd like to import from. So this is already pre-selected because this is how I import my photos usually every time that I do. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of quickly walk you through the steps of what you should be doing um, before you click import because this is really, really um, helpful and it's really important that you choose the right settings. So I'm going to start from the left, which we covered, and go all the way over to the right. So you have these options up here, copy as DNG, copy, move, and add. So we are going to be copying these photos because I want to make a copy from my uh, flash drive to my computer. So we're not actually importing the photos into Lightroom, we're going to be importing them onto the computer and then they will be read through Lightroom. So um, I could choose copy as DNG. This is basically a universal RAW format. You can see that I have Nikon RAW uh, files because I shot in RAW. But this takes a little bit longer. I can do that um, at a different time. I can convert those as a DNG later on if I want to. So right now I'm just going to choose copy. Move and add It's basically if you're moving photos that have already been um, that are already on your hard drive and then adding photos you can add them from another device. So we're not going to get into that. So I'm just going to choose copy and then over here you're going to see where it's be being copied to and it's at my local disk and it's under my pictures. This is where all of my pictures get copied to. So all of my Lightroom photos are under my pictures folder in my computer and I also back these up later on which is a different topic for discussion. So you're going to see these menus uh, down here and if you don't just go ahead and unclick or click the arrows. And for file handling, this is just for the, pre the previews. Um, I just do minimal previews because if you choose um, standard or one to one, it's going to be, it's going to take more time and it's going to slow up your Lightroom. You can choose, um, don't import suspected duplicates if you're using the same card which I don't recommend if you haven't formatted your card and you come in and bring new photos in this could be helpful because then you don't want to import the same photos again. So I always have this checked even though I format my cards so I'm never re-importing the same photos. Um, you can choose to make a second copy and you could do this like you could choose a backup drive or like a portable hard drive. I am leaving this blank for now. And for file renaming, this is important if you're wanting to stay really organized. So you can rename these files to whatever you'd like. So you can have custom name, the date, uh, file, any any of these and you can come over here and you can edit you know make your own presets for that too. 
So for renaming files, you can even, you know, put in your own custom text. I usually just leave it like this. Um, you can see untitled. I'm just going to do boys. Whoops, if I can type boys and then it'll so here's the sample down here this is what my files will look like and I don't you know I don't go crazy with the file renaming because I leave my photos really really organized in my Lightroom catalog and my Lightroom folders so it's not a big deal for me and you can also choose to not rename them at all so they're just going to be named you know the DSC 0748 so this is really a personal preference so I'm going to go ahead and close these and then you have this apply during import develop settings and metadata uh, develop settings you can basically use any of your presets that you have in the um, the develop module so if you know that you use a certain preset on every single photo that you handle um, you can come over here and you can select that and it's going to apply it to every photo. For the metadata, um, I already have a preset made which is my name and it has my photography information on it. Um, if you don't have a preset made, you can come over here and click new um, and create your own preset with your metadata and that's going to be stamped onto all of your photos when they're imported so that's really really important so I'm going to choose my name you can also type in different keywords this is a later subject a later video subject but basically keywords are words that you can use to describe your photos so if there's keywords that all of these photos have in common you can go ahead and type that in um, or you can do keywords later. So I'm going to just type those in later. And then this is really important. This is the destination where your photos are going to be put. So you can see that down here they're under my pictures drive, under my pictures folder on my hard drive, under the 2015 folder, and it's going to create a new folder with the date on it. So once I have all of these selections made and I'm okay with it, I'm going to go ahead and click import. And that is going to start the importing process. And you can see down here, this is where my folder was created with the date. And I can come back here and I can rename this folder any, any way that I'd like to, which I will. Um, and that's for another video topic too. So I hope that you found this tutorial useful for importing photos. Um, if you would like a really f um, clear cut video and a further look into the importing process, make sure you check out my online learning course, The Lightroom Lush. I will leave a link to it in the description below. So make sure you check that out. I go through the entire importing process. I go through in the entire library module and everything that you need to know to set up Lightroom correctly and to make it use of its really optimal organizational purposes. So thanks for tuning in and um, subscribe to my channel if you want to receive updated Lightroom tutorials. So hope to see you next time. Bye.